Hey guys, Newbie here, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial for those who received the server mount upgrades, just to show you how to attach it to your existing base. So the first thing you want to do is make sure with your existing base that you take off all the old servo mounts, unplug all the old servo mounts, uh, servo motors from these pins, but leave uh, this guy the light sensor plugged in as is, and you'll notice this is one of the new bases which doesn't have the crossbar piece that goes across here but if yours does have that leave that piece on and what you'll notice is you've got basically five sets of wires coming from each of the uh, servo motors so the first thing we're going to do is plug each of those in starting with this guy here on the far right um, and that needs to be plugged into pin number two so if you look closely you might be able to see it on here and there's numbers along those sets of pins so pin number two is for the server motor which uh, does the X and B buttons on the 3DS now critical when you plug these in you'll notice you've got a black a red and a white wire critical when you plug them in that the white wire is facing the top and the black wire is at the bottom. Alright, so that needs to be plugged in on pin number two, like so. Push it all the way on till it clicks. And then the next one we're going to do is from this servo motor here, which this one does the A and Y buttons. Um, and again, making sure that we've got the white wire facing the top this is going to go next door to the one we just put in on pin number three push it all the way down cool all right and then the last one we need to do on this side is from uh, this servo motor here which does controls a soft reset and this needs to go on the other side of these wires from uh, the the light sensor so this needs to go on pin number six. Again, making sure the uh, white wire is at the top. There we go. Okay, now time to move on to um, these two servo motors. So starting with the one that controls left and right. So that will go on to pin number seven. And then the last one goes on to pin number 8. There's a little bit of a gap between 7 and 8. There we go. So when they're all plugged in, it should look something like that. Okay. And now for the tricky bit, because you'll see there's these little slots in here, which is where the wires need to feed through. And then you also need to make sure the light sensor, there's a little slot in the middle right there that the uh, the light sensor needs to feed through. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bunch up these three wires from this side. And they, they're going to need to go through to the left hand side of that screw hole. So, and it doesn't matter how loose they are at the moment, um, but just place them into that slot and then sit the servo motor so that it's holding that in place like so. And you also want to try and make sure your light sensor is sitting in that middle slot as best it can. And then we're going to do the same um, with these ones from this side. We're just going to fit them through that slot and then I'm going to slide the server mount into place. Okay, as I said, it doesn't matter at this stage if the wires are a little bit loose. Um, as long as we get them in place, make sure your light sensor is sitting nice and flat. And then we're going to screw in these two bottom screw holes. Not all the way in for now, um, but just lightly enough to be able to hold those wires roughly in position there. Alright, do the same on this side.
And then now we can also screw in the top two screws. These ones you can pretty much go all the way. Alright, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull these wires through so that they're not all dangling in under here. So you want them reasonably tight and out of the way from the underside of here. And these ones on the outside should sort of run down behind this, uh, this guide. And then likewise on the other side we'll do the same. Tighten those up a bit. Okay, and now I'm going to do these screws the rest of the way in. Cool, okay. So now we've got our light sensor sitting in place and all our servo motors wired in and in place. Um, one thing that I did do to make it a little bit easier, I unplugged this, um, the USB cord to, to start with, which I'm just going to put that back in now so you can tuck a couple of these wires down underneath it. And then slide that in. Okay, so once this guy's plugged in, you just want to make sure the wires are a little bit away from the edge so that when we put the cover back on um, we don't squish them on the outside so I'll just make sure they're out of the way and then we're going to put the webcam cover on all right and screw that down into place all right and there we go that's all done now and that is ready to be calibrated which is the next step which I already have an existing video for I may update at some stage but either way I'll leave the latest uh, video linked down in the description of this one